All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Rams. This squad has completely taken the NFL by storm, starting it off week one with a great divisional victory over the Seattle Seahawks. They followed it up with a great highly highly competitive game 49er fans were a little bit nervous there in week two against the best defense in the national football league a team with at least five future hall of famers without cooper freaking cup they put up 386 yards of offense against san francisco 386 yards this is a team that just went five and 12 people are like oh they lost bobby wagner they lost Leonard floyd they lost jalen ramsey this team's gonna be cheeks we noticed it in the offseason we're like wait hold on they still have matthew stafford they still have cooper cup they still have aaron donald they still have ernest jones why are they gonna be worse than they were last season that doesn't make any sense this makeshift offensive line 2-2 atwell nakua this team has done a phenomenal job. Sean McVay is the best coach in the National Football League. At least offensively, he is top three. You cannot dispute it, especially after this season. You certainly cannot. They're moving the chains. The offensive line has given up one sack. San Francisco, like we said, five Hall of Famers at least, probably six or seven. They did not get pressure on Matthew Stafford until they started to blitz. This team is extremely legit. And once again... Cooper Cup is still injured and he will be back soon. So before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. I do post a couple of Rams videos every single week. So if you try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. This team, man, this team, now it's not perfect, right? It's not a perfect squad, but all things considered, they've done a phenomenal job. I, I don't think you could ask for much better of a start considering especially the injury to Cooper Cup. The red zone offense, it's the most efficient red zone offense in the National Football League. It's the best red zone offense. Now, I know we're only two games in here, but given who the Rams have played, Seattle, they spent a ton of money on the defensive side. San Francisco, the best defense in the National Football League. They're still moving the chains. They're still getting first downs. And what's so scary to me is this offense hasn't even clicked quite yet. They haven't even clicked. I mean, they're just catching their stride. And the fact that they put up 386 yards of offense against San Francisco should be terrifying in and of itself. Tutu Atwell completely rejuvenating his very young career a, a case in point example for why you shouldn't overreact to a team that was desperately depleted i mean this team the rams were literally desperately depleted now i know like every nfl team every nfl fan you can say the same thing but no 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 <laughs> every important player and every depth player every role player it felt like on the rams last season was injured at one point or another but right now Tutu Atwell making a name for himself. Puka Nakua has taken the NFL by storm through two games. Guys, two games. He's played two games in his NFL career. 25 catches. It's an insane statistic. We played two games. We played two freaking games. 25 catches for 266 yards. I mean, it is literally what the Los Angeles Rams are doing right now is spectacular it is outstanding they bring in 14 rookies 14 rookies in the draft they had 14 freaking draft picks and we're sitting here rams fans especially they're thinking to themselves even if like three of those players turn into something that goes a long way but one thing that was severely overestimated well is first off matthew stafford or underestimated, I should say. Matthew Stafford is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. The, the Matthew Stafford disrespect that I saw this past offseason was actually a little unreal. And I think what he's been able to do so far through just two games with rookie Puka, with Tutu Atwell, it just kind of is a testament for how great and how, like, I mean, the dude's had a phenomenal career. Matthew Stafford has, I mean, he's made some players. I mean, you look at guys he's had, you know, Megatron, obviously, you know, phenomenal talent, Cooper Cup, phenomenal talent, OBJ, phenomenal talent. But Matthew Stafford, with even guys like Tutu and Puka, I mean, they're still NFL players. I'm not trying to throw any type of shade. Matthew Stafford is special. The dude is just special. And I think considering, you know, he only played like half of the season last year, they had nothing. They had literally nothing health-wise 
competency wise, the offensive line last season was a complete mess. You know, 10 touchdowns, eight interceptions. I think people just kind of were box score watching and, and picking apart the Rams, thinking to themselves, they don't really know the narrative. Well, Matthew Stafford certainly doesn't care about the narrative. And he has come into this league or this season, sorry, and he's not even clicking. He has one touchdown and two interceptions, and it's just a great example of why box scores and statistics really only go such a far away. When you watch the Rams play football through the first two games, you see something. They're passing the eye test, and that is an extremely important, you know, often overlooked. Does it work? Does it make sense when you watch it? The Rams certainly do. But another thing that was very overlooked for this Rams team was just simply their, you know, we mentioned earlier, they lost Bobby Wagner, they lost Floyd, they lost Ramsey. People were worried. Rams fans, you know, I don't know if worry is the right word there, but you still have Aaron Donald. I still have Ernest Jones. I have an extremely talented secondary. Speaking of their secondary, depleted. It was, ext- it was completely depleted last season. Kobe Durant didn't even play the entire season. The dude killed it. He was top 10 in interceptions last season, and he played two-thirds of the season. He had a PFF score of 73.3 and allowed a passer rating of just 52.7. A great example of what Kobe Durant is and what we kind of saw in him last season was that game against Denver where he had two pass deflections, he had two interceptions, he had a pick six, and then it doesn't end just there. Jordan Fuller. Jordan Fuller in his second season in the league put up 113 tackles. The guy only played three games last season. But these are players, you know, the, the NFL world wasn't really aware of because the Rams went 5-12. and 12. It makes sense. But this is a team that is very, very well run. And we know that. But their coaching staff, the players, the personnel, everybody top to bottom has done a phenomenal job. So this upcoming weekend, or actually this upcoming week, a couple of days from now, they've got a Monday night football game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati is struggling desperately right now. This is the perfect opportunity. Joe Burrow's injured. He's currently questionable. I would say I'm 99.9% sure Joe Burrow is going to play Monday night's game. That's just kind of the way he is wired. But this is a road game against a great football team, a team that made the AFC Championship last season. But if you've watched the Bengals or you just kind of know how their first two games went, it's nothing like the Bengals of last season. It's only a matter of time, if we're being quite frank, before they figure it out. Strike while the iron's hot. You're on fire. Your momentum is in your favor, and the Bengals isn't. And an injured Joe Burrow, a non-100% Joe Burrow, that's music to my ears, baby. That's music to my ears. Now, the Rams' next upcoming five games... If the NFL world isn't aware of them right now, they're going to be. They take down Cincinnati. They take down Indianapolis. You're 3-1 and one with Cooper Cup returning. I mean, this is a special, special Rams team. And what this coaching staff has done is absolutely phenomenal, extremely impressive. I cannot wait for the rest of the Rams season. That's it for tonight, man. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Rams fans. I want to hear a score prediction down below. Let me know, but have a great rest of your night. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we will see you next time.